Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome now to a brand new vlog right here on Theme Park in Sandwich, where today we are back at Gulliver's World here in Warrington for our second ever visit. Now we came last year for the first time and we had an absolutely fantastic time. It's got some real great standout rides and attractions here. Of course, the uh, market is kind of sort of 12 and under, you know, that, that same sort of one as Lightwater like Valley. Um, so we thought we'd come back, have a look, obviously check it out. Uh, £22 a ticket, you really can't go wrong, that's a real absolute bargain. We've had a hell of a time getting here as well. <laughs> Needless to say, the Google Maps thought it was taking me on a quicker route and I ended up in the centre of Manchester. But we're here, it's lovely and sunny, so without further ado, let's get inside and check out everything Gulliver's World has to offer in 2024. Right, okay, so through the barriers, we pre-booked our tickets before we came. As I said before, we paid £22 per person. If you do book on the day, you're looking at around about £29.50 each. So definitely worth, obviously, booking prior to your coming. But again, I've got my GoPro. I've had the OK to be able to film on ride. So hopefully within this vlog, there will be a few POVs. Um, and yeah, it's lovely to be back. I can already see antelope in the background over there. There we are. Which, of course, is a classic park-built wooden roller coaster. So I think we're going to kick off our day here by heading over to um, over to Gulliver's Gears where you've got the likes of Overdrive and Grand Prix. Go have a ride on those. Um, absolutely loved Overdrive last time. It's a fantastic ride. Inverting gyro swing. And yeah, we're going to go have a ride on that. It's going to be great fun. Come join us. I'll tell you something. I said it before and I'll say it again this time. I absolutely love the theme in here. And it's really kind of got like a... Just a, a really sort of like family friendly park feel which of course is exactly what Gulliver's is. Now as I said before you know it is aimed at kind of maybe 10 to 12 and under um, and you can only visit if you do have a child with you so if you are an adult you want to visit by yourself that's not possible sadly unless you do come on a specified event. Kicking off our day here in Gulliver's Gears, which is towards the back end of the park, probably one of the most thrilling areas of the park. Here, of course, you've got an inverting gyro swing, and you've also got a lovely little kind of junior coaster there as well. We've ridden them both before. The gyro swing's great, great fun. I'm not 100% as to it, but I think it's Zamperla. But yeah, it's a lovely little ride. So we're gonna get on, get some ride POVs, and I'll talk to you when we come off. All right, here we're going overdrive. Great little uh, inverting gyro swing. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Found it a lot of fun last time, so let's see if it still measures up. A lot of room to hang as well, which is good. Here we go. <laughs> That's the stuff. Oh, yep. <laughs> Better hang time there. There we go. Oh, nice. Up and over. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Tastes so much, so much smells nice. <laughs> See my feet. <laughs> and there you have it. two rides on overdrive that's a fantastic little flat ride it really is it really you know when you go upside down you get some amazing hang time so if you are here and you love hang time that's your ride we're now heading on to grumpy races which has got a bit of a queue um it is a bit of a cookie cutter ride as well there is one of these at another gulliver's park uh down in rover valley with a different theme i think or it might still be the same can't say because we've never been but i know there is one there regardless of this we are going to get on again i will bring you guys on my pov so let's go do this Right, here we go on Grand Prix races. Let's do this. A bit 
bouncy. <laughs> Not bad, this nice little coaster. There's a force around these helixes, it's just that jolt there on that corner. Oh, there we go, that was fun. Okay, so that concludes our little uh, visit to the Gulliver's Gear area, or gears, <laughs> should I say. Again, a great little area, Grand Prix, a very, very fun little coaster, a little bit on the rough side, but still great fun. And of course, Overdrive, without a shadow of a doubt, the absolute highlight of the area. Now, this was, of course, a new area for last year, um, and that's kind of the main reason why we came last year, to come and check it out. But we're actually heading on to Antelope now, there's a bit of a queue for it, as you would expect. And uh, yeah, of course, we'll get a POV of the ride, but... This ride was actually built in-house by the park themselves, I believe, so it's quite a unique little wooden coaster. And I think in all fairness, I don't think there's any other Gulliver's World parks that actually have uh, a wooden coaster there. I mean, cor correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys, but as far as I'm aware, I think it's the only one. Anyway, yeah, as I said, let's head over to Antelope, get a ride, talk to you when we come off. So you've also got kids in town here with a puppet show, good old Duke Punch and Judy, absolute classic. Of course the main event, right there. Let's go ahead in the queue and as you can see, it is fairly sizeable. Well, we're getting there, not long now. I think we're past the 45 minute wait mark and we're right back down there. So yeah, not too much longer. Looking forward to getting on this. Now, the one thing that people do gent sort of like tend to kind of wonder is why is it called the antelope when it's set in a pirate area. You've got a pirate themed ride opposite it, you've got a pirate ship, and then you've got a wooden roller coaster that has kind of almost like a piratey logo on the front saying Antelope. But Antelope technically isn't really kind of pirate related. Well, it actually is. The Antelope is the name of the pirate ship, basically, and they've named it after the pirate ship. So that's the reason for the name. I didn't find that out until we came last time, so I thought I'd uh, share that little snippet of information with you guys. Right, well we made it into the station, very very busy in here, but of course as I said before it is east so you would expect it. But yeah, looking forward to getting back on this, it should be a nice little, uh, nice little addition to the park, nice little ride as well. Bring you a POV when we get on. Okay, so we're in the front row, where up next? Looking forward to this, talk to you when we come on. Right, here we go on Antelope, brilliant little wooden coaster. Built by the park themselves. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit rickety. On that bit, all this bit, yeah. It's the first drop in there. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, nice like, proper. Traditional wooden coaster sound, arms in the air. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> and then that's it, you get to go on this piddle a little bit at the top here. Gets your stomach. Here we go again. It's just 
Double down. And double up. Oh, that's got some force to it. I got hit in the face with a fly then, I think. <laughs> <laughs> little ride. Gotta love it. Absolutely gotta love it. Right, there you go. Antelope. What a fantastic little wooden coaster. It's great to have that at the park. And yeah, really fun to get back on it now as i said it was made by them it's not made by an actual manufacturer but having said that it's definitely on par with it it's recently had retracking work done as well so you can really tell that obviously there's a major difference there and i think that was done obviously prior to sort of last season as well but yeah a great addition to the park here definitely check it out even if it has got a bit of a weight anyway it's definitely died down now somewhat which is nice <laughs> get a ride check it out for yourselves don't miss out Right then, so there we go, we've had a few rides now. Uh, it's been a really good morning here at Gulliver's World. We are going to get some dinner now, so we're going to go and find somewhere to have a sit down. Uh, and then we'll obviously kind of make it on from there, really. And you've definitely got something like that. That is literally the weirdest kind of walkthrough, horror walkthrough you'll see. We'll, we'll take a walk around after we've had some lunch. But yeah, grab some lunch, and I'll talk to you afterwards. Right, so we've elected to go for fish and chips, as I've got a sausage and chips. And I'll tell you something, they're the most overcooked sausages I've ever seen. In fact, to be fair, they look more like something else. I'm not going to go there. And that definitely looks like something else. I'll leave that one to your imagination. The fish looks nice. But the fish looks nice, yeah. The fish don't look bad. The chips are good, too. Chips are nice. That curry sauce really does look wrong. If, if you know, you know. Um, it's all right. Phil says it's all right. Evie's gone for chicken nuggets and chips, I think. And calf loops and donuts, of course. Fish and chips. Fish and chips, yep. Yeah. Any good? Yeah, it's all right, actually. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you, Fantastic, can't go wrong. <laughs> and for ours at least, um, three of us, it's cost around about £27. That's obviously including a drink and sides. So actually, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's very, very good. Yeah. You said that on camera. <laughs> right on the pocket. Indeed, it's a, yeah, we certainly do. Because in all fairness, as much as we love going out, we don't like spending a huge amount. I'm sorry to, to be crude, but they look like turds. They really do. <laughs> I'm sorry they don't taste like turds. And not that I know, but that definitely looks like a turd. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to eat my food and I'll talk to you afterwards. Right, so after a questionable dinner, <laughs> it was alright, it wasn't the best quality, but hey, what can you do? I'm going to take a walk through the Haunted Mansion. Now, this has to be the most bizarre attraction that's specifically aimed at kids because this is anything but kid friendly as far as I'm concerned. But I'll let these guys out first before we go in. It's a very distinct smell in here. It's quite dark, although to be fair, you can see more on camera than I can actually see in, uh, see in person. I need help. I need to push the door. It's really strange. Hello. <laughs> I'll tell you something though, it is dead good. Hammer time. Do, 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 do. This way, apparently. Yeah, I can tell you. Yeah. Some people probably don't know. He's just hanging around. Yeah. Tell me that. Tell me that's child friendly in the comments. That's just creepy. <laughs> I'll tell you something though. It's cool. Really cool. Very very different. Oh my God, it's me. See people through there. Got some steps now. Quite nice actually. Wooden panel walling. It's suddenly getting very dark. Oh, hey, oh, here we go. Oh, oh my baloney. That's it. UV paint. Very, very eerie. Not <laughs> too sure what's going on there. Wafting his face, her face. And then you go out this way. 
few moments later. Right, sorry, sorry about that, Gulliver. Let's try again. Hopefully, we're not setting any alarms off doing that. Let's shut the door. <laughs> right, so you, d you don't go that way. You go that way that says this way. <laughs> Look at these two hanging out. Hello. <laughs> right, okay, let's try going. Let's try this way. <laughs> Right, that really isn't uh, really isn't child friendly, is it? Uh, no. <laughs> How is that child friendly? Are you guys just showing you what you're having for dinner tonight? <laughs> 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 is anything but child Push. Friendly? Right, this is the one that goes outside. <laughs> this is this is the right one. <laughs> Might sleep that one. Yeah, it's Sam for a trick or treat. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mind your step. Everything's a bit up and down right now. Uneven floor. Ah! This is oh my god. Without the bucket. This is anything. Yeah, this is definitely anything. There we go. Let's go downstairs. Yay, very tight. I'll tell you something, that looks quite handy, don't you think? Handy? Yeah. Proper dad jokes for you right there. They're having a drink. Hanging around. A bit weird and strange, but nothing scary about that. That's just strange. Can we go out this? Yeah, this isn't the fire exit, is it? This is the exit. Right, well, there we go. So we're going to go and get on this lovely little Zamperla disco, which is themed to pirates. You've got the school rock there in the middle. Take you over for a ride. Speech, you want to come off? Right, so here we go on the pirate themed Zamperla disco. Apparently it's called Five, but I can't see ride names anywhere. Regardless of that, we're going to have a ride. We are. We're going to go for a spin. Here we go. to most of the rides of this kind, it's very tame indeed. Hey. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely child friendly. <laughs> A nice pleasant ride. I feel like you're going around in circles. And incidentally, you can see over there, if you just have a quick look, you can see that the Caterpillar coaster has now left. I found it outstanding and outstanding but not operating uh, last season or earlier this season. It's gone now. And there we go. know here at TPI we're known for our blunt honesty and if I'm perfectly honest about that ride that has to be one of the most uncomfortable Zamperla Disco I've been on and two the most boring um it didn't really get up to the heights you'd expect it to do I understand it's for kids but yeah it wasn't fun I'd I'd give it if it's got a big queue I'd give it a miss but you know we still did it we got a POV of it and uh, apparently I looked like I was gonna fall asleep at one point so uh <laughs> fun times eh but we're going to head over now to the drop tower, go have a go on that, see what else is over that side of the park. And yeah, I've had another great day so far. Have you ever wanted to go on a princess ride? It's a very questionable looking dark ride here at the Livers. Let's have a look.
but that's part of the feeling. <laughs> so basically, it's a ride in the dark with UV paint and stuff. No sound or anything whatsoever, and no animatronics. Oh, we've got a big dragon there that does nothing whatsoever. <laughs> what a weird ride. <laughs> Again, it's showing up better on camera than it actually is in person because at the moment it's pitch black in here. There we have it. I'm not too sure what that was about, but yeah. That's your princess ride. Is that a little bit on the tight side for you? No. <laughs> a little bit. You're not going anywhere, are you? Right, let's see how they get on. Right, so they've elected to have the lights off. So you can do this in the dark. Gully's big cheese. I can safely say with that one that falls into the actual category of what the actual was that. <laughs> you got a princess ride, a dark ride, that has to be the most bizarre dark ride I've ever been on. Nothing happened, it was pitch black, there was UV in there. That, that spot there, right Gullivers, yeah? That spot there, yeah? Pull all that down and redevelop it because that is just shocking. That really is. No, it's shockingly Right, anyway, let's go over to the drop tower. Right, yeah, we're going Desperado's Drop, nice little drop tower. Towards the back end of where the Western theme is, you've also got the uh, rapids off to the right, but let's have a ride. They're like pond and stuff. And it's very unpredictable. <laughs> it's quite a long way up. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Straight down that time. Oh my god, it's so much better. It's so much better. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Got a few nice little drops on this. I just wanted to go up and down like 10 There we go. Do it, do it, do it. Hey! Ooh, all the way down that time. Oh, we got the fifth one.
do it, do it. No, Sully, do it, please, Sully, do it, please. Sully, stop me. Sully, stop me. Sully, stop me. Sully, stop me. There we go. Sully, you're doing the last bit. <laughs> the last one. Hey. <laughs> ah, there we go. Great little drop tower. There you go, a nice little ride there on Desperado's drop, a lovely little drop tower, family drop tower. I'm fairly sim sort of certain it's quite similar to the ones that feature down at Portland's Park, but I could be wrong. Heading back now over to Overdrive, gonna have a ride on there, and then we're heading over to the slides. I'm not too sure what they're called, but they're really good fun. So definitely gonna get a ride on that. But yeah, having a great day here so far. There are a few qualms, however, that I do have. Uh, the first of which is internet connectivity here is pretty much abysmal next to none there's literally nothing here even with your data obviously they have no control over data but as much as they do have guest wi-fi i've seen that myself it wouldn't connect so that's something that needs addressing the second thing that needs addressing is that a lot of these buildings around here like many people have said over the past are really starting to look quite tired quite dirty quite old now i know that the park are obviously kind of working to sort of upkeep and make things look a bit more fresh and yeah certain areas are looking lovely they really are but there's a lot of other areas, especially where we've just been, that looks very, very tired and very worn out indeed. So, a few little kind of areas there for you to sort of improve. Other than that though, the staff have been amazing today. Everybody's been really friendly, very helpful. The rides themselves have all been absolutely brilliant, great fun. Um, reliability, it's been pretty decent so far. Touch would have had no real issues. Yeah, great day here at Gulliver's so far. All right, Theo's going on overdrive for the first time. Are you excited for this? Yes. I mean, the way I see it is, you've, you've done Icon, you've done Mumbo Jumbo, and you've done 13 and Wicker Man, so something like this should be an absolute piece of cake. You nervous? It's a lot of fun, trust me. Okay. Let's go get on it. Well, okay, back for another ride on Overdrive. Let's do this. Mm, fourth, I think. And if you like hand time, as I said before, this is the ride you want to be on. As you can see, people like taking pictures. <laughs> Most of because are probably not brave enough to get them themselves, but there we are. <laughs> right, here we go. Feet up, arms up, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> right, Sophia, you just experienced overdrive. What do you reckon to that? My first day of swing, bang on. I felt, I felt like I conquered the world. I love it. And if you want to crack your fear, your fear of heights or fear of of Dara's Winter Rides. Definitely give that a try. So you glad you did it? So glad. I'm gonna hopefully I can go on it again after the Togo slides on my first go in the afternoon. And I mean to be fair we've done two rounds already actually haven't we? We've done another ride since we actually went on it so you've had I do, it. Sorry. I do it on my own then? No you have to have you have to have me with you. So basically for those that don't know the smaller ones if you're gonna go on that you do have to be accompanied by an adult, unfortunately, unless you're above a certain height, which I think I believe is about 1.3, 1.4, something like that. But yeah, you've done it. We'll definitely come back and give it another ride later on, yeah? And I conquered the world. There we are. Well, there we have it. So that's another milestone conquered for Theo. Not only has he done several big coasters, at least now over the last couple of years, he wouldn't normally do, including Icon, but he's also conquered an inverting gyro swing, which I mean, it's a pretty big deal for someone who a couple of years ago would barely go on anything. So. Very, very proud father moment there. And uh, yeah, really, really pleased to see him actually conquering these kind of milestones. We're heading now over to the slides. We love those, right? Um, those slides are really good fun. So of course, we're gonna have a ride on that. Assuming the queue's not too big. 
and then we'll come back and probably have another go on overdrive before wrapping up our day here at Gulliver's World in Warrington. Right, okay, so right, time for a ride on Togo Tower. Now, basically, Togo Tower is exactly the same as Buffalo Falls down at Polton's. You get a dinghy. I don't know if you can fit three on one or not, but you can definitely fit at least one or two, can't you? So, yeah, do you want to go catch them up, actually? Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, this is pretty much identical to Buffalo Falls down at Polton's Park. Um, and yeah, it's really good fun. It's always a really popular ride as well. But I think today at the moment, it's not looking too bad. And apparently it's a 30 minute wait, that'll do. That's not too bad. In comparison to the 40 odd minute wait we've had before, this ain't too bad at all. It kind of reminds me of going up inside like an old mill does this. Like adult mills and stuff like that, but yeah, very similar. Anyway. Right, we're going to go tower. This should be fun. Jesus. Oh God, here we go. Wow. Oh, no way. Oh, cold and wet. Oh no, got my ass. Oh. Ugh. I've got wet ass. Okay, so we just had a ride there on Togo Tower. We got absolutely drenched wet through. My pants are literally toast. Gonna head now onto Overdrive for one last ride before we wrap up our day here at Gulliver's World. <laughs> There we are, final ride of the day there on Overdrive. Definitely the uh, absolute highlight of our day without a shadow of a doubt. And Fios loved it absolutely every minute as well. So he's had about three rides on it now, which is really good. But yeah, we're going to head on out the park now, wrap up our day here at Gulliver's. And let's talk about how things have gone. I'm ready to jump in down. There we have it, that's our day here at Gulliver's World here in Warrington at an end and what a fantastic day it's been. We've had a great time, staff have been absolutely amazing, ride reliability has been absolutely second to none, we've had no downtime today whatsoever and yeah overall as an experience it's been brilliant. Of course there are a few areas for improvement, again the Wi-Fi that needs looking at, I know it's something trivial but you know a lot of people do kind of rely on it for other things so yeah definitely one to kind of consider. Um, and then of course you know the fact that yes it is looking a little bit tired other than that though I really honestly I can't fault them it's been an absolutely brilliant day we've gotten so many rides and considering that it's literally Easter at the moment and it really is quite busy it's not been too bad to be honest with you really we've gotten a lot of rides throughout the day as you've seen with all the POVs and everything else so yeah an absolutely sensational day here at Gulliver's World in Warrington but I'd love to know in the comments have you guys visited here before do you plan on coming this Easter or indeed do you plan on coming at any other point throughout the year do let me know in the comments below guys and for now on this is a few moments later hit that subscribe button there we go turn on notifications and again if you have enjoyed this smash the like button and let me know but let's get Theo's final thoughts on Gulliver's what do you think so the highlight of my day is of course overdrive overdrive first driver to win ever bang on i don't know how i managed to uh, run there you've done it Yep, so also, I thought of two of us slides, but really good. Yeah, I got, I got drenched wet through, to be fair. No, <laughs> show me pants. But yeah, anyway, as I say, there we go. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. See you in the next one, where we are at Lightwater Valley later this week. Hit subscribe. See you soon.